Many things have happened over the last 20 years and we see an evolution which should go on, but if we want it to be really an evolution which has impact, we'll need systemic change. It means that changes which are bits and pieces on the left and right in the system have to be integrated in the system. And therefore you need a cooperation between all the agents in the system. And the major agents will be on the one hand the ministries and then with the ministries you need initial teacher education, induction teacher education, continuous professional development, research. All these elements have been linked together. But simultaneously beyond changes you also need to cooperate with other stakeholders out there like industry. And we have to agree with them what's the ultimate objective we want to reach. And that has to be discussed always with the stakeholders. Where do we want to go together? And if you want to go together somewhere, then it's clear which way you go. And how you, and every step you will set, you will evaluate what you're doing. What have we achieved? Why has it worked or not worked? So by 2020, I think there should be more systemic change. And systemic change can only be built when there is more cooperation between the ministries, with all those agents, but there is also more cooperation between the different ministries across Europe because they will learn from each other. Ministries have to learn not to reinvent the wheel. What you have to do in a school is to create a school environment which enables young people and the teachers to take responsibility. The school should be open to responsibility. It means that the, the people in the school, the teachers first of all, they should feel that they are cared for like people. If you go back to sustainable development and, and, and major developments looking at profit, planet and people, the people are important. You give responsibility to teachers, you value their input also the pupils and then when you have this atmosphere in a school where responsibility is shared for the community you build then you can also talk about science education and you will not do it in an abstract way you will do it very concretely according to the level of the children and with older teachers you can tackle ethical issues which are much more difficult to address but if they do this in an environment where they themselves are valued you have much more chance of having an impact on citizenship because citizenship it's not something you say you must be a citizen you must be treated like a citizen you will act accordingly you will learn science and later on as a scientist when you study and become a scientist you'll say oh that's what i want because i can contribute to society in the end we all have to contribute to society in one and that's the ultimate aim of science well if you want to enhance collaboration between teachers you'll have to start in your school and if you want to enhance collaboration in your school, the first thing you'll do is to create a culture in your school, which means that people feel valued and that I can collaborate then with other people, that I trust the other people, that if they ask them a question which may sound stupid, is acceptable to them. When I was a teacher, I remember coming the first time in the, in the room of the teachers and there was another teacher who got up and said, do you want a cup of coffee? This changed my life as a young teacher. He gave me a cup of coffee. So openness, it creates trust and it creates a relationship where I would say, I'll go to that teacher with my questions. I want to collaborate with him. By true collaboration, you want not only to improve your own situation, but you want to improve the school culture, the school environment, and you want to exchange. And if you want to receive, you also have to give. Operation is trust in people, and when you do it, you must be aware of it, you must praise the people, and you must celebrate.